get to a point in your existence when you reach adulthood and feel it for the most part. You have this whole life thing figured out. Wake up, eat and drink to survive. Go to the toilet when you need to and answer when your name is called. And go to work or whatever it is you do every day for the rest of your life. You reach an age where you assume that there will now be no major surprises or information revealed in your life. And you have a full understanding of the earth, its dynamics, nature, and how stuff happens. Stuck atoms and enough patterns. Age 25, I was a depressed and unfulfilled job in the city, tired of playing along with the charade, aware of the extent to which it was unfair and unaware of what existed beyond the realm of the five, I was charming and didn't put much further thought into it, the things I clinged onto in an attempt to cement my identity was shallow and incapable of sustaining me spiritually, though at the time I was completely unwilling to entertain the idea that I was unhappy, the world and the magnificent things that existed within it had become normalised and unworthy of common discussion or exploration, see I was raised in a system, I come from a broken home that was plagued with addiction, so I used to misbehave as a infant, behave as a form of communication, and subconsciously I was looking for more, trying to decipher a code that I couldn't absorb, ignoring shit that you shouldn't ignore, I was curious but too shook to look and explore, despite being depressed and slave to my impulses, I was blessed enough to have a connection with something I considered to be real, I love the music and the creative space that I felt safe enough to get lost in, though this creative space was a brilliant outlet and prevented me from getting up to too much mischief as a youngster, who also served as a breeding ground for a lot of the negative traits that I carried into my adult. See, I realised as a young adult that I was more introverted than the vast majority of my peers, which although it was one of my strengths creatively, prevented me from being open enough to build the relationships I needed to feel good about life. I was in my head too much and stuck in a fear response loop, whereby I refused to acknowledge my own need for connection, in the fear that doing so would lead to rejection, embarrassment or emasculation. This was something that I always intuitively understood but was never able to articulate. I felt different. This was something that I always intuitively understood but was never able to articulate. I felt different. Luckily enough, I was fortunate to experience a reset which highlighted the beauty of it all. A reset that enabled me to shed the skin and the problems that were confusing me in school. Problems I never dealt with that I used to build a wall. A frontal cortex filled with flashbacks, not for the faint hearted. Lost in the same hardship, a liar in my heart. Living life with a desire to depart, conspiring at large. But now I'm a phoenix with a fire in my heart. Anyway, I'm walking in the woods feeling like I'm a shy right part. Thousand hours of cognitive behavioural therapy in one session of my dumb bread dreams.